Hello everybody and welcome to episode 7 of Stoneblock. In the last episode we made all of the seeds for all of the different things and I farmed a little bit of dark steel and end steel in between episodes and I think I'm farming uh, vibrant and energetic and we have so much. I AFK'd in the afternoon yesterday and then overnight today and now it's like 7 a.m. Um, when I got back from uh, the town where my girlfriend lives and we have a lot of iron, a lot of pulsating iron as well and a lot of energetic and vibrant alloy when we need to, when we want to make it, we can make it. And this has been auto crafting. I can just make another crafter and export out all of those to make the ingots. But this has been making diamonds and supremium and redstone, so that's cool. And what I've been doing is I've been moving things into my drawers from over here. Basically, we have no more drawers over here and also all the bonsai pots are now out. And the only thing that's left here is, oh, this one from the apple saplings uh, that I forgot to move. So we're going to grab a move wand and move it. Uh, the moving wand is much better than the chest transporters because it doesn't give you the negative effects, which is really nice. Uh, so where are you facing? Okay. Um, what I did basically is I grab a transfer node and transfer pipe and then stack upgrade and then... 30 of these speed upgrades because that's as much as my GP system can muster right now. So you can just take that, put it in the drawer controller and then say that. And that should export everything that it can put into anything. Is there a drawer that's unlocked or do I have apple saplings somewhere? It could be that there's a drawer unlocked. Is there one unlocked on this side? No. Oh, yep, there was one unlocked. Uh, give me all of the apple saplings, please, and the key. And one thing that I'm struggling with is getting this, this controller slave to work. Also, these are silicon seeds that I can put on the wall here. Uh, but the controller slave, I am not really getting the hang of how it works. I think I managed to get it work at some point for, for a brief second, and then I changed it, and I don't know how I had it. But basically, the drawer controller is over here, and as far as I know, it detects 12 blocks in each direction, and that the controller slave does um, extending, basically it extends the range. So that drawer controller through the oak trim sees only to here. That's the furthest is it can see. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so it's 12 blocks that it sees from where it is. And I would have to move the drawer controller a little bit over. And then if I moved it, I don't know if it would see all of these over here. And I think it still sees this because I can take the sticky rubber and put it in there. It's going to detect it. But the rest, I don't know how to fix. So if you know how the drawer controller slave works, let me know down in the comments to see how I can attach it to the same drawer controller. If I can't get it to work, then I'll just have a separate drawer controller here and a separate one for those two, and it should be fine the way I have one for here. Uh, I could, I think, potentially extend the drawer controller over to this side as well, but I don't think I will, so that's okay. Um, but... I want to play with a few things that I found out that I have in the fluid cow department. Also, apple saplings we don't really need right now anymore. Yeah, that's fine. I've also killed some energetic sheep, and there was a lot of fluid cows that spawned, so I captured all of those, and I went through all of them to find the ones that I needed. Uh, let me grab just all of these. And we can also sort our inventory just a little bit, toss things in here. Uh, and before we do, yeah, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to toss all of this back and that back. The controller slave. Torch can go in there. And bag opener can go there. Yeah. First things first. Uh, over here, I have uh, 3.8 million bags. No, 384,000 bags. Uh, and I upgraded this storage crate to a medium storage crate. And I needed to make an atomic reconstructor, which I think you saw back there. Uh, but I just wanted to have a little bit more safety. And the only thing that backed up was the only uh, item that we didn't have in the filter, which was an iron chest plate, and I've since added that. And this is all of the things that I have on filters. Basically, four sets of armor, one, well, four sets for mechanism and four from vanilla, and then some tools. I think there can still be iron axes that can drop, but the rest is, is all good. And you can see I have four nether stars here, and I have a few more. Their patient bags are basically a 1 in 10,000th chance of getting another star. So what I have is just a bunch of bag openers that are looping 
the bags back and forth, so eventually you get another star. And some of them have gotten it over my AFK session, and some of them, I think two were were not full, and two were, um, and all of the others had nether stars. And four I've gotten uh, yesterday when I was just playing around with them. So that is neat. And remember how I wanted to do the whole nickel thing to get platinum? We don't have to. Because one of these is a... That's iridium. We still need to do that. So I'm going to leave you out because I need you to do things. Solium is also a thing that is craftable. Uh, it's solium. Uh, it's to make this solium dust, which is... It's not that difficult. It's just soul dust, which is the soul stone, which you can craft with uh, stone and soul sand, or you can go grab it in the nether. And then you make the ingots, and the ingots can be turned into the solium dagger. Or you can also put it on your tool. Oh, that's cool. I might add that to my katana. Uh, I didn't know it was a tool part, because I presume it uh, it can give you the option to drop mob chunks. Uh, so if I do here, and we look at modifiers, solium. Chunky. Makes your tool or weapon drop mob chunks. That is cool. Uh, so I will add that to my thing once I once I can get a bucket of it. So these cows are just going to chill here. And uh, let's see if we can do... Can, can I use this on cows and make them do things faster? Def oh, definitely not. I'm sorry, cow. Uh, and over here, I have two more cows. One is platinum, which... For all we know, we need it. And one is refined obsidian, which is, I think, from mechanism. So I'm just going to leave you out as well and just grab buckets of stuff once they're full. and Or once they're ready to be milked. And I'm going to toss them in the smeltery if I can. If not, I'll just toss them in a, a tank and see if I can pour it out in a casting, uh, casting basin. But I think I can pour all of those in the smeltery and just pour it out. So we should be good uh, once these are all ready to be, to be put into the smeltery. So the iridium cow and the solium cow were ready, so we can put this in. Six ingots. Pour it out, please. And solium. Nice. It makes six ingots and a bit of nuggets, so when it starts pouring out the last one, it should just half fill it, and I can just break the, the casting table and be cool with it. Nice. We get iridium, so we can make iridium seeds. Amazing. And if we get more fluid cows for different alloys, we can just use that. I would love an Enderium cow, that would be cool. Uh, but I can do this, and then I need to go down here to grab the casting thing. Put it down, and the cast, and the faucet back. Wonderful. Sweet. The Solium, I don't think there are seeds for this, but I don't think we really need seeds. We just need it to turn it into the thing. Oh, do I need to pour it to get the cat the things? Okay. Uh, so what does the katana have? Let's look at that uh, katana. You have a tough binding. So I need three, either the rod or the binding. And I want to see what, what do I have uh, for things. I have a manual in sword blade, manual in sword blade, cobalt tough rod, and a stone tough binding. Okay, we can do a binding out of solium. So I'll do three of you back inside here. And then I'll break this, turn this off. Pick the dust this up, like so. While that melts, even though I can speed it up, I'm gonna go grab the other two cows, which should be ready. Yep, platinum and refined obsidian. Sweet. Um, where did the platinum go? Oh, it's in here. Platinum, refined obsidian. Grab my my binding cast. Oh, and we have this, which we can also melt. And binding. Solium is almost done. In the meantime, we can pour out some platinum. Uh, let me grab my speedy wand, just to make it faster. And you can just look at the lava level, and once it stops moving, everything is melted. So the three solium go into... Oh, no. I needed uh, the this guy. Whoops. So, um, you go back, melty melt. Okay, now Solium. Uh, I forgot I needed a tough binding. Okay, speedy up. And now pour everything up. Awesome. Okay, 
Tough Binding, Katana, Tough Binding. It's gonna do a bit more durability. I'm gonna lose the cheap part. Do I not get the chunky? Oh, does it need to be? It says, oh, the binding doesn't do anything. I need to have the tool run. Okay, so what we'll do is we're gonna go grab Cobalt because I have the Cobalt tool rod to make it faster. Um, even though I can do something else probably, but we're gonna grab Cobalt and melt that. Refined Obsidian is going out. I need to do this again. I hate how it drops down and I can't drop down to pick it up and do that. Uh, okay. We have one refined obsidian left. And then the nuggets. And then we have molten artite wanting it. And we can speedy up the rest. So the tough tool rod. No, that's the regular tool rod. Tough tool rod cast. And solium. So I changed the binding. No, I didn't change the binding because I melted it back. Uh, I needed to make a cobalt tough binding. Like so. This is done. So now you should give me chunky. No? Really? It's It has to be the main thing? Fine. So that's six total that I have. And I have to change one of the blades for uh, for chunky, and we can still uh, we can still change the binding uh, for cobalt, even though it's just gonna give me more durability. Um, yeah, I can change it to something different later if I wanted to. And the refined obsidian, we just have one more ingot, so we can pour that out, and then the rest can go in here. And I think I need to turn this guy around because I placed it from the side. It Flipped the ingot cast to the side. So like that. Okay, that's gonna melt and I need another use on the solium cow, which I hope is ready again. Yep, okay. And then we're taking this large sword blade cast and pour the solium in here. Okay, nice. Wonderful. Solium blade. Okay, now we get chunky. Wonderful. And the damage goes down a bit, but that is okay. Um, sweet. So we have, uh, if we go kill mobs now, we have the, the chunky uh, thing and we can get uh, mob chunks. So I think uh, if we look at mob chunk, mob chunk, there is a zombie chunk I think, yeah, tier one mob chunk is just zombie chunks melted. I wonder if I can get zombie chunks from killing pigmen in the nether. Because uh, if that's the case, I can just go... Um, I mean, I can just go kill pigmen, or I could go find a zombie spawner somewhere, or make a zombie spawner, and just set up a little automated way of getting, or automated manual kind of way of getting zombie chunks. Because I won't really need that many chunks. Um... To, to I would need wither skeleton chunks to get the wither skulls. I would need blaze chunk, gas chunks, and all those chunks for the different mob types. Um, this I think is the last that we need that we're gonna break. And place back. Uh, and one thing that we can also make is the tinkering table. Oh, it requires all of the different ingots, or one of the different ingots. So let's do know what since we're rich uh, let's do do I have more prosperity shards I think I have I have three left I need to go into the nether to collect some more okay let me do that of it in uh, just real quick and then we can add some uh, modifiers or some charms to our armor so it doesn't matter what material we make it but because we're rich we can just make it out of uh, any one of these so we're just gonna go for some premium because we can and I could go for Insanium even. I have enough Supremium to do that. But we're gonna go Supremium. Because it matches our armor. I wonder if at any point in time they will add Insanium armor. 
That would be neat. Uh, so I can just take the four of the ingots and then we need soul stone. Okay, wonderful. So then the table is just a crafting table, which we need some wood for, which I have in here, all of the wood. Crafting table, station, tinkering table, wonderful. Let me toss all of these guys back to clear up some inventory space. And I have prosperity shards, which can go back in here and everything else can be cleaned up, wonderful. So the tinkering table, I have made a couple of charms here. I have the speed charm and the fire resistant charm. The speed charm can go on the leggings and the fire resistant charm can go on the boots, leggings, chest plate or helmet. And if we look at the charms, we have a uh, night vision, which can go on the helmet, which I think will do. I don't know if it's on and off though. So until we get like dark steel armor or uh, other armor, which has tog level night vision, which is what I like, uh, we're just gonna probably run with that. Uh, the absorption one is gives you 10 hearts every eight minutes. The weather resistance we can do now because we have the nether stars. Anti-venom is like meh. Resistance is okay. We could do some premium apples and uh, and have that going. Lowers the damage taken by 20%. That's neat. We can do strength as well and put it on the chest plate, uh, which in turn will allow us to kill zombie pigmen instantly, I think. So the speed might not be a necessary charm, but the fire resistance will be. So let's see, the chest plate I don't wanna put it on because we can put strength on and everything else I think is applicable to anything besides the night vision, which goes to the helmet. So I think we can just put the fire resistance on our leggings. So we're gonna do this, the charm, and I believe it's, um, if we look at uses, it's four supremium and three prosperity shards. Oh yeah, I can't fly. One, two, three. And then one, two, three, four. Oh, that's not the table. So we do three of these and four of you. Or does it have to be specific? It has to be specific. Haha, <laughs> okay. Fire resistance, wonderful. Nice, now we can't die in lava anymore. Neat. And this tinkering table can, can stay somewhere in the floor, possibly by my tinker station. Uh, over here, we're gonna put it right here. Nice, okay, wonderful. So the cows uh, produced things that we needed, which are still in the chest here, I think. We have iridium, platinum, refining it, and solium, which we don't care about anymore, and the ardite, which can go into the drawers, uh, like so. So I, now I need to make the iridium seeds, which are tier five, and the refined obsidian, which I believe is either tier four. Oh no, it's tier five as well, okay. So two tier fives, and the platinum I think is also tier five. <clears throat> are you? Platinum seed. Ah, yep, tier five. Okay, so I need three tier five uh, seeds and tier five um, essences or the supremium essences. So I have seeds somewhere. If we go find them real fast, I think over here. I had crafting seeds, possibly over here. Ha, ah, tier one crafting seed. So we do just do iridium, platinum, and refined obsidian. Nice. Okay. Essences can go back into my crafty dude. It's premium I just toss in there and it gets put into the chest uh, and the drawer even. So over here, we're gonna do, yeah, we can do platinum over here. Put it inside. Iridium. And refined obsidian can go in the last one over here. Nice. So now I have only a couple of slots left open for other things, because what I kind of did is these are the basic ingots. These are the basic um, other resources, basically that aren't ingots. And what we can do is we can tear down this wall a bit and then put in a crafter for each of the rows because it's nine long. And if we want to, we can increase the drawer size upwards and add another nine rows, for example, if we need more storage for uh, more of the different uh, types of seeds or for the other things like the mobs and stuff, we can just add uh, a different kind of uh, 
drawer setup specifically for the mob chunks and a different kind of cloche setup, for example, which could be cool. Yeah, let's do that. Also, in between episodes, I've been a busy bee and I completed some quests. I made the controller slave, so we can claim that loot chest. I made the uh, the personal key. I had the drawer key already, so we can claim that. I also made all of the different storage upgrades, so we can also claim that. I made the black hole unit just because it's super simple. And I, then I upgraded the gold storage crate to a diamond storage crate. And then you can upgrade the diamond one to a quantum storage unit which I believe is just a single item storage the same way as the black hole unit is. It stores the maximum amount of items. And the quantum tank is a single liquid storage as well. And the recipes are pretty simple. Uh, do I have... Oh yeah, I'm, I got... I made a draconic core. Why did I make a draconic core yet again? I made it for something. Oh yeah, I made the disenchanter. That required a draconic core. Um, uh, what else do we have? Anything? Yeah, uh, tier 5 crafting seed. Uh, we can also make the Insanium Ingots and the Tier 6 Crafting Seed at some point, and the Furnaces. We could do the Furnaces today, uh, and try to get to the Ultimate Furnace. That could be neat. But yeah, let's open up these and see what we get. And I need to pack up my cows as well. Hold on. Let's do this first. Cows, you've you've done well. You've given me all, all of the different resources that I needed. Where is my Platinum Cow? He ran all the way over here. Okay. You can go back into your cow chest and we can toss the seeds back in here wonderful so this is my loot chest chest tier three chance pendant a skull fire sword with looting what is that looting 25 or is it or does it work differently plus 99 attack damage and it's unbreakable we had skeletons scorches them black that's the aversia sword well um you've just become obsolete unless you we want to use you for mob chunks Wow. That is insane. Okay, that's a really good reward. Um, Cryostabilized flux, duct, flux ducts. That's okay. Compact giant chance cubes. You know what we do with those. I'm like Eskal with diet, but I destroy chance cubes. Invar hammer. Uh, we can toss it in here. A flask of fleet feet. I've already gotten that. Another one of those. Two more. We get more viaducts and more speed upgrades. Okay, so we can just toss all of these back in here. The speed charm I won't be using, and the rest I can sort back into my inventory. Um, the tier three chance bandit can go back in here. Uh, solium we don't really need to store in a drawer. That's fine. Yeah, here I have the 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 three things that I made. The black hole unit is just a single item storage. Uh, and I believe it shows somewhere. I think it might have shown on the top or shown on the side. I don't know. Can you do... Oh, yeah, that's the input. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then the quantum storage unit does the same thing, but it's it messes up with Optifine. It makes it, uh, like, uh, not opaque. Or I think it's the word is opaque. Yeah, if you see it, if I drop it down, you see it's, like, transparent but then it makes it opaque. And the same with this. This just stores uh, any type of fluid, which is really cool. Um, soul stone can go back in here. Uh, I think we can go and do some applied energistics today so we can start removing all of these chests and get a bit more organized and also attach all of our drawers to the system and it's gonna make our crafting just much easier. And also, uh, we can see all of our resources. It's gonna make things move on a bit more fast, uh, crafting-wise. That is, I don't want, I don't have to run around and go like I need some redstone, I need some iron, I need some uh, ender pearls, I need some fat and some of those. So I think we can do some applied logistics. And to get started, we need an inscriber. And I love that we have a 2 stuff because that's the most basic mod ever. So we need sticky pistons, iron, and fluix crystals. And fluix crystals we've got from the seeds here. And what I can do, actually, since I'm going to need Certus Quartz and Fluix, um, we can just grab these two seeds. And I'm going to grab a couple of drawers. I think I have, I have more regular drawers. I do not. So let's do this. Some more drawers, like so. We can toss the rest back in our drawers, like so. Uh, it stole my Fluix. That's okay. Um, moving wand. Ba, 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 ba. Where are you? Here you are. Okay, we can move these guys off. 
and grab two more drawers. Oh, it's going to start putting the things in. That's okay. Uh, we take this out and we put in Certus and Fluix. And then we can grab this essence out and toss it in here. And I'm just going to grab a couple of upgrades from here. Are you going to grow? Or do you need something beneath you? No, you don't. You just are slightly slow. And that's steam making noise. Are you... Okay, you are making essence. Wonderful. Uh, quantify key. Nice. So eventually we can turn this Fluix essence into some more Fluix crystals and the Certus Quartz into more Certus Quartz. Nice. Uh, so let's toss these back in its appropriate spot. Wonderful. So for applied logistics, inscriber, let me make some some things that we're gonna need for the crafting part. And even when the quests, we're gonna follow the line, which is in storage here. We're gonna make the growth acceleration chamber, the thingy, the controller, we're gonna go into other things, but yeah. Um, let me get started with some crafting. I have made a few things. I have the inscriber over here, which we can claim the quest for. Also, I made some growth acceleration accelerators and I turned six of those into a crystal growth chamber, which we can also claim. Uh, we're gonna open these in a second. I'm just gonna toss them in here for now. Uh, but I made some Certus Quartz seeds, which you make from Certus Quartz dust and sand, and we can toss them in here and they will slowly grow. Uh, can I do this? Toss this in here and grab my cheaty wand. I don't know if it struggles for power, but we have pure certus now. And to make the presses, there are crafting recipes. We can take this and I believe some essence and we'll make the calculation press. Then we can take one, I believe it's one diamond, one iron, one silicon yeah so iron diamond then we can grab crafting window diamond iron is it is it not iron oh it's gold got yep. derp gold and then i'm four essence short to make the silicon but i need to go grab silicon anyway which I have in here somewhere, 25 of it. And we can grab four more essences and take that with the silicon and make the silicon press. Nice. We can complete this quest as well. We can claim and the next one, I presume it's one of the, each of the processors. Okay, so I'm gonna need to make a few more Certus Quartz seeds if I wanna do anything with that. So let's grab a stack of this and you grind me down some more Certus Quartz. And what I can do is grab some of these cables and we can put down some more inscribers. Let's just put them down like this. And we're gonna take the silicon press I'm gonna need more silicon as well. I can smelt some nether quartz to get silicon directly, or I can just uh, sagmel some sand. Uh, so what we'll do is I'm gonna grab my, there's a diamond furnace somewhere in here. Yeah, that, and give me some coal. I have that on the other side. So we're gonna do that, nether quartz and some coal. And just smelt me this, please. Okay. So the silicon press, did I not grab the other silicon? I didn't, okay, silicon. Go in here, can you not be made? Is it really not the, okay, fine, fine. Are you, you're out of power because I stole the power from here and you can't be put, <sighs> I'm struggling on power <laughs> on flux points. I need to make some more flux points, hold on. I made another flux point and I added here so we can now produce Certus Quartz dust and I'm gonna eventually toss in some more sand. And what we can do is grab silicon and put it in here and it's gonna make the inscriber silicon press, like that. Then I need the engineering press. So I need some diamond and some redstone. So diamonds go in here. At the time, I'm gonna do more silicon. 
what we need is a couple of engineering presses so we can get um, and more silicon so we can get the the other level or the the other inscriber if you look here inscriber there is an advanced inscriber which just needs two engineering press processors to make so that plus that and this So I'm going to need to make quite a few more, but we can automate it a little bit better once we have uh, the two presses, which we have here. And I'm going to, I have more inscribers on me anyway, so we can just do crafting and I need two hoppers. So I, I tossed in chests, give me chests, please. And iron I have on me. Oh, crafting. So a couple of hoppers. I'm gonna need two per inscriber. So I'm, and if I have nine, I'm gonna need a total of 18 hoppers, I believe. So we can just grab some more iron and make eight more hoppers. Like that. And if I made too many, we're gonna use them at some point anyway. Sweet. Let me just make one more press real fast. I need one more silicon. Redstone that and the silicon. And we can craft the other inscriber now. And what is good about this guy is if we take this off, put this in here, and add it the add him the silicon press, I could toss in a stack of silicon. And then it just will make the 20, and I don't have to manually toss one at a time inside. So over the course of time, it's gonna make us more stuff. So over here we can toss in some more diamonds and the diamond press and it's going to make us diamondy stuff and are you done wonderful sand sandy sand nice uh make me more things wonderful so now i can just grab these I'm gonna wait for one more and I can just manually make a couple of more so I can upgrade all of the inscribers to advanced inscribers and then we can eventually automate this fully anyway. I wanna really make the material stone ore factories so we don't have to worry about making sand, gravel, dust and silicon or glass ever again. So I wanna get the mob slaughter factory which is gonna provide us with pink slime. So I need to craft uh, this up and then we're gonna install it over here at the mob farm. I'm gonna turn it off and possibly install it on the other side and just the mobs will spawn and I can put in a decent enough range upgrade so it'll cover everything. And we can just extract the pink slime down and then place it down and kill the pink slime and get pink slime so we can make the material stonework factories. I have made and installed the mob slaughter factory and when we turn it on the range add-on is going to cover everything. The mob fans are still going to push things into this guy but I turned turn him off for the time being as you can see. Uh, so we should be getting some, uh, some things. Yeah there we go they're dying slowly and we once we get I think one bucket of slime will be enough since we have this looting bajillion sword. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave this running until we get enough pink slime to um, to get a bucket or a bit more or even this fills up or something but uh, then I'm gonna place it down wait for the slime to spawn and we're gonna I'm gonna bring you back when we kill the slime our super cute pink slime has spawned and let's see how much pink slime we get with this super sword 23 wonderful probably all of the pink slime that I will ever need so now I need to craft some more things to get the material stonework factory. Material stonework factories. Uh, I need some machine cases or machine frames or whatever and buckets of water and lava furnaces and stuff. So I'm going to craft a couple of these. I'm going to see how many we, uh, we need. And then we're going to set them up so we can start producing some materials. I think we're going to start running out of power by the time now because we're running the cloches all the time. And we're running that guy still. Well, I don't think I really need to run him, but I added a tank for slime and a tank for meat. And I made some energy conduits and some fluid conduits because we have vibrant alloy for days anyway. So this has just been extracting. I can just turn this off to be active on redstone signal and the mob farm will run back to normal as it was. 
My qu this quantum tank wasn't showing here before. Can I clean it up? I can't clean it up. Okay. Like, the chest was empty. <laughs> it wasn't showing up before. Because I broke it because meat went into it. But yeah, let me craft the material stone note factories. And then we're going to see if we start, we, if we need to start making more power. Each one of these material stone oak factories is gonna use 40 RF attack. So we definitely can't run all of them right now because we need more power, but I'm gonna just set up this guy for silicon. So it's gonna make it here automatically. And I made a stack of printed uh, logic circuits so we can just grab some redstone and we can toss this in here. And the next thing we need is pure certus. So we're gonna need some more sand and some more crushed certus quartz. So that's the pretty much the last of our sand. And Certus Quartz Dust, I believe it makes two things. So we're gonna just do half a stack and toss this in here to let it grow. Nice. And for the processors, we have uh, 46 engineering processors. So we, I believe can make an ME drive now. Uh, and there's ME drive fixtures from extra cells. Yeah, that's nice. And also blast resistance ME drives, wonderful. So this, I have iron on me. We can just do crafting. That should be a quest. Uh, and the processors, we're gonna get the quest soon, as soon as uh, these are processed and grown, which is now. And uh, we can toss ba, 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 the other press. Engineering calculation press. Toss this in here with these. This is gonna make the logic processors, which should be fine. Uh, I also have to toss away some things, like the tin. And the next thing that it wants us to make is the controller, which I believe is ME controller, is the pure Fluix, I believe. Yeah. So for that, we need some Fluix dust, which we can grab from here. One, two should be enough, I believe. We crush those. I have some sand on me as well, so that should be okay. So those. And two sand will make us Fluix seeds. We can toss those in here and use our Chidi Wand. Yeah, it's, it runs out of power. Um, what I can do is inventory. No, I put them in here. Do you, oh, that doesn't connect. Damn, okay, I forgot. Uh, yeah, they're grown. Uh, and we also need the sky stone, which I believe I made a while ago. I don't know if I showed it, but you could just use the sky stone dust on the lava barrel over there and you get sky stone. And I believe I already cooked it up, so we should be good on that to make the ME controller, which will give us more channels on each side. Uh, so that should be nice. We can just toss it right here for now and give it some power. Does this give it power? No. Uh, power. Wonderful. And this is using 6RF tick or FE or whatever uh, to run the three inscribers. Okay, cool. Uh, we can claim some quests here now. Claim this one and that one. We're gonna open up the loot chests. And the next is the 1K ME store itself. But we have, um, what we can do is uh, this is here. Um, let's take this off and because we don't really need it. Take this, put it here. We're going to grab our ME drive. And then we have a few of these. Where are they? 64K ME storage components. And we can turn these into the storage disks, which we need quartz glass, redstone, and iron. Iron I have. We need some redstone and some quartz glass, which we can craft. Uh, uh, uh. Where are you? No. Uh, storage component. We need two crafts of that. And then uses for this. One, two, three. Four. I'm gonna pick all of that up in a second. We can toss these in here now. Now we have some disk storage and I need to clean up my inventory so we can open up these loot chests. Speed upgrades. Wooden stone, wonderful. And a flask of magma skin. 
flask paste, speed upgrade, and 464k storage disks for fine storage. That's ironic. Um, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, so the next thing we need is to add a cable on top and then we need a crafting terminal. So terminal, we need firstly the, I believe it's just an ME terminal, which is logic processors and the cores, which is Fluix dust. So I need to do some more crafting. So now that I made this, we have a fully functional storage system. So we can start tossing things inside of it. Uh, actually not the things that are in drawers that we're not gonna do. Um, but the the rest of the stuff that is not in drawers can be tossed inside, which is really neat. So I'm gonna grab the other drawer controller because we can't see see things properly. I'm gonna grab this and put you right here. And the other one is over there. So we can just do, um, let's take first of all this trim off so they won't be connected like that. This trim can go off as well. And then we can grab some more cable that we have. And I need to make a fit, bit more Fluix, or I have a bit more Fluix here. So we can make some more cable. ME cable. That got all the facades. ME glass cable. We need more of the, the quartz and I think it's just, what is it? It's quartz and glass or it's quartz dust and glass. Yeah, up, up, up. See, I'm running all, all over the place, but we're gonna solve this in a moment. So glass, glass, and this. Just make me all of it. And the Fluix. Nice. Then we need a ME storage bus. Storage bus. It's two pistons and an ME interface. An interface is the cores, which we have. We need a bit more iron. Oh. I think it's doing weird things because I have it on, 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 on a weird mode. But we need that. That's just one ME interface and we need more of the cores and more of the glass. Two interfaces and then, oh, can go in there. Yeah, it's so weird because I'm trying to tab out of it and it's not, not doing its thing. So I might have to get used to that. But an ME storage bus and another one. Wonderful. Now we grab our cable and our storage buses and we can do that run the cable over to here you can just connect it up top here and then run the cable over to here for now oh and the storage bus and we can say priority is there a priority here it is 100 and priority 100 Awesome. And I would need to run one over there to the mob farm, but I'm not going to do that right now. But now we can see all of our items and it's all, all amazing. And we can start tossing the rest of the things that we don't need into here. And also I can clean up like my ender pouch. And everything that is in the storage drawers is going to go into the storage drawers. Now I need an import bus import bus do i have the thing for it wonderful okay uh and some cable and we're gonna toss this here and then the import bus on the bottom part of it and do we have any acceleration card potential it's fluix and these cards yeah we sure do two four six So weird. Four of these in here. Nice. Now what I can do is grab my wand 
Uh, we can just start moving things in uh, into the storage. I think it's gonna fill up super fast if I just start tossing everything in, but at least the resources that we need, uh, which could be the seeds, the bars, the bonsai pots if I need them, this chest definitely. And the thing that's one thing that I like about refined storage is I could possibly have tossed all of these items inside the system and not have a problem with it. But the way this works is we're already full on 62 types out of a 64K storage cell. So um, we can only basically store, uh, what is it, 120, it wouldn't be 28 minus 4, 124 different item types. Uh, before we start earning out of space. So if I start just whacking everything inside here, it's not gonna be good because it's gonna fill up with all of this random junk that is in here uh, that we don't really need in the system. I'm just gonna look through here and if we need anything super special, like for example, dark glass, nether brick and stuff like that, stone burnt, there's a bit of glowstone, wool or sky stone, compressed gravel that I have in here randomly, uh, the bricks, Oh, maybe chorus fruit. These seeds and all that I can store later. But for now, this will be good. Uh, can I do this in a compacting drawer? Oh, wonderful. And this also. Yeah, nice. The stone bird, I don't think we're going to be automating right now. So we're just going to toss it in here. The wall, the sky stone, the compressed gravel is going to go into the gravel drawer anyway. The crate. Wonderful. Neat. I'm gonna check the time on the video to see how we're doing. And if we have some more time, we're gonna do some more things. But if not, we're gonna wait until next episode to do some more applied logistics -y stuff and to do more, uh, more crafting and more of that and have more fun. In its raw, unedited form right now, the video is 45 minutes long. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can hyper edit it down a bit. But with that, I think it's, this is gonna be it for today. We did a bit of applied energistics. It looks like a mess. It is a mess, but that's okay. <laughs> We're gonna clean it up tomorrow and, or not tomorrow, Monday. And yeah, basically, uh, thank you again for watching. I am hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, consider subscribing to see new videos, and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.